Welcome back, everyone, to episode 440 of our Let's Play to reform the Taiyi sect. Uh, yeah, we did get this merchant last episode. I think we already dealt with him. Uh, the main thing I want to get started with uh, is uh, actually finishing Chi's attachments. Uh, we kind of stopped, uh, you know, at the start of it because uh, we wanted to basically figure out what we wa what we uh, want to attach. Um, okay, Skydome Palace is offering this tribute to. But I think we have a, a decent idea of what uh, what we can do now. So uh, unfortunately, it's not a whole lot. <laughs> I mean, it's it's all right. Uh, we we can actually use some of it, but uh, it's not as quite as uh, good as we were hoping. Uh, we will be able to attach things like uh, visceral blaze, for example, uh, and then also like golden core on up mental state uh, manuals so that we can eat more uh, Wicked Flux and things like that. So uh, there will be some benefit, but it's not uh, nearly as pronounced as uh, I was expecting it to be. Uh, either way, uh, I think uh, we should get started with that. The problem is with this is uh, there, there's going to be a bit of... Um, we're going to have to do a bit of learning for this, at least the first time we do it. So uh, we do have a couple things uh, lined up that we would like to, to learn. Um, Mr. Blaze is definitely one of them now, too. Divine Mastery. Oh, I think these are the uh, mental state boosters uh, that we can take. So Reincarnated Psyche, let's see. I think that'll probably be a lower down here. Basically, anything that can improve our max chi as well, uh, golden core on up, would be ideal, but I don't think the game lets you do those, so kind of unfortunate, but they do, uh, They, I guess they've considered that, basically. They don't want us to have it easy in the, uh, the pre-golden core state. So Reincarnate Psyche is right there. Yeah, that is a Primordial Spirit Mental State boost. So it makes sense. We'll look around for other things that might help out. Uh, yeah, here's Moral Purification. So we've uh, we've already got these taken care of. Uh, what is this? Oh. Looking for things that uh, will actually change uh, what we need to do here. Actually, it looks like that might be it, huh? Oh. Uh, I guess uh, that's all we really need are those. So let's see what options we have. It may be uh, just a good idea to get up to uh, level 4. But uh, let's see what we can do. So no manuals with that one. Artifacts, uh, Lunar Rock. Don't care about that. Records of the Perfected Warrior. Sitting in Oblivion. So we don't need this because this is Chi shaping. Oh, nice. Uh, so, sitting in oblivion. There's really not a whole lot of things that we can attach. And oblivion is core shaping. Okay. Uh, Lunar Rock is this thing, so knockback resistance. Yeah, completely useless. All right. Let's just keep going down the line. Sword control from seven slaughtering, and then killing intent uh, from seven slaughtering. I 
Are these in order at least? I think they might be in order at least from here. So sword control is the chi recovery multiplier. Uh, this one is also chi shaping uh, mental state. So don't need that. So we will learn all of those things before we start eating. Um, before we start eating wicked flux. Stab and strike chant. Step and strike chant. Let's see what those are. I think those might be some of the mental state boosters. Nope. Artifact speed and part of power. Okay. Quite a lot of the regular power uh, increasers and whatnot. I wonder if some of these are actually, because uh, Nime Immortal Obliterating Method actually does kind of sound like a uh, unorthodox thing. So that might be a way of um, using up some of these subspirits too, if we decide that, you know, we'd like more um, more power ups, but maybe not necessarily manuals. We could affix uh, some of those things on. Um. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, that's it for that one. Mortality records and reflection chant. Hmm. Interesting. I don't see this one yet. It's got to be here somewhere, right? Hmm. Okay, there it is. Mortality records is lifespan and spell power. Longevity chant is uh, lifespan, of course. So yeah, I guess it is in order somehow. Oh, uh, reflection chant. Oh, that's not the one, right? Mortality records and oh, it's longevity chant. We we're looking for reflection chants. And yeah, that is unorthodox. Okay. Okay, it's spell casting stuff. Gang of Demons. I don't know where she is. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, she was right there. Okay. I'm blind. Spirit Shield, Nate, she recognize all of these. Spellfire? Probably just going to be spell-related. Oh, obviously this is the spell-related section, but um, probably just spell stuff, I would imagine, for these. Power of One's Secret Moves. Harmonious Chant. Let's figure out what that one is.
Divine Bolt. I guess these are in some kind of strange order. Harmonious Chance, just Spell Power. Okay. Hmm. Alright, that's it for uh, spells. Beer, uh, all of these I think are just going to be shield values and whatnot, so I don't think we'll need any of these. Yeah. Uh, at least for now. Void Aegis will be something that we want. Void Aegis is one of the reasons why you uh, go Sunflower, so we'll, we'll definitely grab that. Uh, but anyway. Cultivation. Visceral Blaze. This is uh, definitely one that we want. Visceral Blaze, we could put on our Heavens Rend, I guess. Um, yeah. I think that's uh, probably a good fit. Uh, it's got high uh, matching, which is perfect. That's what we want. If it said uh, medium or low or anything, that would mean that it would cost more subspirits. So we wouldn't want to do that. Uh, let's combine that then. Okay, so you high is at a limit again, but uh, not enough chi to do that tribulation, so that's okay. Toothache, ouch. Tough life. The other thing that we were working on, and I, I kind of forgot about it a little bit, is we have a... Tier 15 Incubation. I think Jai Loon is holding onto it, right? Yeah, so he's got this uh, Tier 15 uh, Incubation for an artifact. We have to kill five Sneak Demons, unfortunately, though, while carrying the item. So, uh, found out that... Uh, let's see. Yeah, then five Highly Poisonous Primordial Spirits from Snake Demons are needed to make it into the final product. So unfortunately, we have to actually kill Primordial Spirit Snake Demons. The only way we're going to get those is if they uh, decide to enter the map. So it's going to be a really long time before we test that out and find out if um, if that works. Uh, we could try to... Yeah, once drawn, this sword will split out multiple sword sprites. Sounds pretty cool. So maybe what we do is uh, we try to activate this thing, too, uh, and do the same thing. Because this one, you only need seven Ascension Tribulations while carrying it. No problem at all for us to do that. Um, so, I think in order to do this, we have to... Plus, it's Earth. So it'll automatically have a high luck. Not that it matters, really. Um... Liu will have to do this. Not Body of Genesis. It's actually Dark Soul Genesis. The higher the caster's attainment, and the more times the item has been illuminated, the easier it is. Uh, her attainment's actually only 655. Do, uh, do you have inspiration? Yeah, a bit. Let's look up uh, yield, I guess. There's a lot here, actually. Hmm. Not very high anyway, but whatever. Let's give it a shot. G 
she's uh, finishing that right now. So it'll take a while. I think uh, I recall this uh, being um, a bit of a pain. But uh, it doesn't cost us much. Uh, the big cost would be the Primordial Soul Gems, which we actually have a ton of. Obviously, we want to buy uh, those whenever we see them. I suppose we can look through the sects right now to see if they are selling anything uh, that interests us. Hmm. A plain farming tool. Metal Origin... You know what? I, I'm actually, I think, gonna... Hmm. I mean, we get so many of these for free, so maybe not. Say, so maybe, maybe we buy Origins now, but it doesn't really make sense. We're gonna be selling them soon, so... Kind of a waste of time. Bonus Spirit Seed. Uh, should probably take that. Bonus Gnarled Vine, too. Um, I think we are kind of low on those. <laughs> Alright. Anything else that we are interested in? Not a rebirth pill. Some obsession gems. Uh, I think we did use up a bit of those recently. Um, you know, uh, yeah, let's just buy them all because I think they're like super cheap, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? We can be generous. I don't care. There you go. <laughs> Basically, giving those away. They clearly uh, don't have the ability to do any Shendao stuff, which is why they just give them away. Like, oh, this guy was obsessed. Look at what he look at what he left behind. Ugh. <laughs> hey, how do they get him anyway if they don't have a Shendao? Life's greatest mysteries. Um. All right. Anything else? it for now with that. Apparently we have two Phoenix Flash. Must have accidentally made uh, two few of them. Or one few uh, uh, Flood Dragon Flash, I guess. Let's even that up before we continue. The two-headed emperor. I don't remember this guy at all. All right, she did it. So uh, she is up to 28, seven attached, really. And now Visceral Blaze will be on her Heaven's Rend. So this will actually free up some attainment for her. It's kind of the opposite direction we want to go, isn't it? She survived eight. If we could get her to survive nine, that would be yet another subspirit. If we keep attaching stuff like this, we're just going to have to uh, get more attainment somehow. Uh, I suppose you can uh, sort of mimic this by just learning a bunch of skills, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I guess we could learn the method of crafting the Unus. Not sure if I've ever looked at the Unus. I don't think. 
Maybe we have? I can't remember. Yeah, she's got on her golden tunic right now. Let's at least uh, get her into this room. Flashing screen warning. <laughs> Wish I could just click the uh, max level button. There we go. And then, yeah, I guess uh, let's take a look at Unis anyway. I can see artifact. Unis uses a fortune seed and a few divine jade. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. This is the one that absorbs the polar night. Right, so we have crafted one of these, of course. Yeah, now I remember. that That's the sword that we use to absorb the Polar Knight. So we already knew that. Draconic Tablets. Significantly improves one's comprehension and protection. Oh, that's interesting. It's a legacy artifact. Condensing a hundred pound of jade and the essence of the Torch Dragon together, aided with the power of change harnessed from the nine consecutive midday and midnights to become spirit. <laughs> okay, sure, sure game, sure. Uh, significantly, yeah, improves one's comprehension protection. Does that actually level up your skills? I wonder. It uses basically the same loot that you get from killing the Torch Dragon once. So basically you can give up your spoils from a Torch Dragon kill to get a Draconic Tablet. Might be something worth doing. Maybe. Alright. By the way, I uh, gave her 891. Uh, she needs nine more still. We're going to have to start getting rid of these Demonia Temple items. It's kind of crazy how much they give you, to be honest. Also, we'll need to eat uh, some of these spirit seeds, too. Oh, yeah. Things are just kind of stacking up over here. Oh, man. <laughs> this is not good. Uh, I guess. Do we just, like, gift people these things? I don't really know what to do with them at this point. I guess we could use some uh, ancient scrolls. Sure, why not? Uh, let's see. There you go. Stocked up. We are about to need those uh, when Izanami is ready to go again, so... Not a bad idea to kind of stock up, I guess. Uh, but that doesn't even really help us, does it? Not really. Ja could eat the... Well, really, all of our demigods can eat the divine bones. And she hasn't eaten any of those yet, so... There you go. Alright, she's guarding right now, but uh, we can take a look. See if there's anything else. Let's see. Yeah, we could attach alchemy-related things, too. I guess that would be a way to um, really buff up a character as well. 
Like if you have, I guess Liu could buff up her own uh, alchemy. Oh, you can even add yield actually. Massive yield. <laughs> Small yield. Tiny yield. Yeah, alchemy epiphany though would probably be points into alchemy, meaning yeah, we could just straight up level our alchemy probably beyond 20 then if we do that. Because what it'll, I I think what how this works and we haven't tried it obviously yet, but from what I understand, if we get to like level 20, if we just naturally or not naturally, but we use inspiration to level it up to 20, um and then attach a large Tao epiphany uh, that will, it'll subtract the amount that it put into the epiphany and then place it into the object. So at that point, you can actually just naturally increase your base uh, alchemy, for instance, in this case, back up to 20. But then your item that you have the attachment on also gives you the bonus still. So I think that's how it works. That's, I think, how you can exceed uh, 20 as well with like human cultivators uh, for certain uh, skills if you want to. Good to know. Um, looks like it's the same thing for artifact crafting. So um, we could also honestly we could actually get rid of uh, this actually might not be a bad thing to do either. We could get rid of this uh, Tao Shia Divine Law, uh, which just uh, gives us more stamina, which is a good thing to have, but we don't really need it on Shi anymore. And this is a unorthodox thing. So uh, that would help. Purified Energies improves Chi Sense, but I believe all of those are pre-Golden Core. We should probably make sure of that, though. Purified Energies, Mindful Springs, and Tri-Vision. Yep. Uh, yep, also G-Shaping, and then Tri-Vision, G-Shaping. So things are somewhat in order. Not exactly, though. It's hard to describe. I think it orders them at least by category. So if you're going down the category, they will be at least in order in, in the order that they appear in here. But, um, yeah. All right. Let's continue to take a look. I am pretty sure mind fasting is not a, a golden core on up thing. Could also get rid of this uh, chi absorption efficiency too. But then again, if we're just going to restart her anyway, it doesn't matter if we don't have to do that. It doesn't really uh, change anything. Breakthrough incantation. Earth and absorption. Nope. You get the feeling all of this stuff is going to be pre golden core. At least for the level 3 stuff. Kind of makes sense. Yep, I, I recognize all of those. So, okay, good. So we don't need, basically what this means is we don't need anything else from uh, level three. So uh, we can start to affix uh, stupid stuff. Um, let's move these items over here and make them tier 12, uh, just to make them stand out more. You absolutely do not need to do this. 
Um, we've already tested this out. Uh, we know that increasing these items to tier 12 does absolutely nothing to them. So... But uh, we do it because we like shiny things. If we're going to fix sub-spirits on our gear, you know, it's going to be tier tier 12. Tier, tw tier 12 only, right? Or maybe tier 15 if we can get tier 15 artifacts somehow. We're, we're testing. We're testing. Uh, at some point, Li Yao uh, came in uh, to visit. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. So uh, they can have a good time. They're they're doing the lady strut. Zhishi. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, unattractive indeed. <laughs> Too ugly to be likable. Ouch. That's worse. <laughs> that's low. That's low even by my standards. Oh, not even likable. Um. Anyway, <laughs> this guy's just a. Uh, he's not. Wait. He's not even a. Uh, this guy just started visiting us, and he's not even an immortal? How'd this guy make it here? Hmm. Always something interesting. Alright. So... Yeah, these are going to be tier 12. Uh, what we want to do, though, as well, is have Serena, or not Serena, but uh, Chi, equip this junk. And we'll probably need to make more, too. Let's just get, like, three of each of these. Uh, and chop some wood. All right, should be able to attach immediately. So yeah, we might as well just get rid of those. Um, uh, t -t 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 let's see, not bear related, but cultivation related. Some of these. Uh, chief absorption efficiency. I guess we can get rid of that too. But the main one I want to get rid of is uh, what is that? That Tauchi one. There it is. Put that on uh, this thing. Yep, hi. We're good to go. So for the first time... Uh, we're actually doing the sub-spirit thing. Uh, kind of nice, I guess, though. Uh, we know now that we don't need to completely max those out. Do have a spare, a few spare obsession gems, too, so. Let's see, can we trade uh, for anything else that we might be interested in? I guess another one of these. Uh, where do obsession gems show up at? Is there a search? I wish there was a search. Let's get rid of uh, some of these origin nuns, too. Gosh, I really feel like I'm I'm missing it, aren't I? I must be missing it. I 
Might as well get rid of these, I guess, too, since we're doing all this. Huh. Um. <laughs> gosh. Alright. It's definitely in here somewhere, but... Must just be blind. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, I must have missed it then. Um, let's do eight of these then. Okay, let's add a little bit to it then. So now we have a, a ton of these scrolls. We will expand this area a little bit. It's just plain, uh... It's not carpet. I think it's, yeah, literally just this. Oh, it is. Fair enough. Uh, right. Um... Ugh. Put these in the trade area. They put it right back in the same spot, huh? Um, let's just temporarily do that and then, um, You're joking, right? Did it actually put them in here? What is... <laughs> what is going on here? Hold on. Is there tier 9? Yeah. None. Tier 9. Available for sale. Treasures. High priority. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Not sure I understand. Okay, this time they went there. They had to be put onto a pedestal, I guess? Oh, man. <laughs> this game tests you constantly. What? <laughs> What's the criteria? Does it, um... Like, how, how does it, uh, how does it make the decision to move it over here instead of right here? I really don't understand. Um, I'll also make this one, uh, not for sale, too. We'll never sell those. Uh, yeah, I um, it's a, it's another mystery for sure in this game. Did I just smelt that? Uh, oh man. <laughs> Whatever. At this point, we have too many of these items anyway. Clearly, the game won't even put them in the right spot. Maybe it's just that the area is not big enough. Let's see. Okay. Try this again. Fun with ACS mechanics. Shouldn't be this hard. Okay. It's filling up there. Huh. 
What the heck? It's not using these squares. What's wrong with these squares? <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. Poor, wait, poor soil wonderland. What does that mean? Wonderland? Not sure I understand that word. Dazzling. Wonderland is this. Oh, is the mini universe? Wait, hold on. I don't get it. I don't know what Wonderland means. All of the uh, mini universe spots say Wonderland on it, though. But then again... Yeah, I have no idea what Wonderland means, to be honest. So, why is it not using these spots? It's so strange. Uh, where are the scrolls? I guess we did already place all of them? Oh, we just tried to put a bunch more down and it, they didn't go there, but I don't see them anymore, so... I might just be tired, guys. <laughs> it's been a long day for me. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll go with that. That's probably the right reason, is that I'm just tired. Uh, alright. So, yeah, he can proceed past Soul Scorching, because we'll get stopped at Ascension, so. Incineration. And that'll be the last one for him. We're not going to uh, deal with the elf, even though it is the 27th of winter. The perfect time to deal with the elf, but we're not that mean. Alright, anyway, uh, let's, I guess, add more uh, flooring here to finish this up. There he is, too. <laughs> Now, I guess we could do the Chi Absorption Efficiency. It doesn't really matter for us anymore, so might as well. We're just trying to get rid of uh, slots. Actually, did we level up? No. Okay. Yeah, we're just trying to get rid of um, Subspirits. Because we don't want anything at the level 3 uh, spot. So yeah, um, umbilicus fasting summary is almost certainly an unorthodox thing, so that frees up unorthodox slots. It's something. And then, obviously, when we get rid of it, we don't care, because we don't really need the stats anymore. So it is a way of, like, unlearning things, I guess you could say, as well. Sort of a costly way of doing it, but we don't need the subspirits right now anyway. Everything we want at level 3 uh, is taken care of, so we need to get to level 4. I don't know what the ranks are. Um, I'm guessing it'll be like 10 or 11 or something before we get to 4, but... Because I imagine they do get progressively harder. It probably is exponential, too, now that I think about it. So level 2 is to get to level 2. Or two of them is, is getting you to level two, right? And then another four got us to level three, I think. So uh, following that logic, it would be 14 subspirits attached to get to level four. And then 16 more. So 30 subspirits attached to get to level five. Wow. 
So we might even barely just get to level five unless we, uh, you know, do spirit splitting, which we will do, of course, um, and other stuff too. We've done killed a flood dragon. Actually, all of this is free though. What she has, she can get all the way up to level five, I guess. Then, uh, assuming my exponential um, hypothesis is correct. Uh, she should be able to get all the way up to level 5 without even using Spirit Splitting uh, or uh, Division Pills. Very good. So technically, she she could just stop right there and just take advantage of the uh, additional attainment slots and whatnot. But uh, Since we have the ability to do Lunar, Lunar Frost spec, I think it would be uh, kind of wise to move her into a new role. Uh, she could do either. Well, I guess she could really do anything, honestly. Could have her do uh, water cultivation, wood, fire. Doesn't really matter, I guess. They could all benefit from an extra artifact slot, except for the seven slaughtering cultivators. She could become a grand chariot, too. It's not a bad way of going about things. We still have way too many origins and stuff. Um, so, uh, I guess we have to smelt these. This feels uh, really bad. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible that we have to just delete these items, but... I don't have any other recourse. I don't know what to tell you guys. We have too many origins. I don't know what to do with them. This is our fate now. Uh, unsuitable temperature, too hot. Gotcha. Spirit root uh, is, or spirit seed is uh, going out and doing its thing. Could do another spirit seed actually in here just to uh, help out a little bit, I guess. just occurred to me I wonder if if we got a kill on a Yao Guai that's a snake would that also count we don't have any here so we can't tell but I wonder if that would count too I'm, I'm guessing not but let's try to involve uh, some people here Unfortunately, these guys uh, just didn't make it too weak. Uh, Alright. Only one. Sad. But it is uh, progress. Some progress. Tiny bit. 1%. Still, we appreciate them visiting, except for the other guys. Oh, this guy immediately got up and started stealing. <laughs> and, then, and then the guy comes back along. Okay, you were supposed to move here, sir. Now that you've finished dying. It's like the, uh, have you ever got, I guess seen the, uh, the video with the, um, I think it was a, a lobster, I think. <laughs> it was still alive and they packaged it started clawing its way out <laughs> it was basically that guy like no uh, get back in the package <laughs> that's 
fresh, but we don't like it that fresh. <laughs> Bit too fresh for that. Uh, blessed by fortune, Borealis Incubation received the enlightenment and became a sentient spirit. Uh, where is it? Aha, it started moving. Gotcha. Freeze. Um, and then, yeah, we can just give it a body. You know, at some point, we will probably have to attach stuff for Lou. Uh, because she's going to run out of lifespan eventually. I mean, obviously, that's a very future us problem. But, um, yeah, it might be something that we have to uh, take care of at some point. Anyway. Body Genesis. There we go. So she has finished uh, attaching on both of these, so we will discard uh, and uh, smelt. And once these are gone, they're gone. Like, you can't get the subspirits back uh, permanently. We have affixed uh, nine attachments already, so uh, those aren't coming back. Anyway. <laughs> uh, the memes rate themselves anyway uh, let's eat a forming pill and then uh, probably call it there <laughs> hope you enjoyed uh, next episode uh, we will work on Aurora Borealis <laughs> and uh, have her uh, hopefully become a tier 15 artifact uh, shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too hard. Uh, I think just a single twenty million inspiration will get her there. Uh, so we will do the easiest law, heaven stealing law. I believe it's the easiest law, and uh, she can actually follow. I always forget. Is it you high? I can't remember. Yeah, we're just gonna come and congratulate her. Do we even have any earth beds? We should, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, is it is it Yuhai? I can't remember who is. I think it was Yuhai that is our. Yeah, Heaven Stealer. So, um, Mentor Yuhai. And then, if we have a spare fire slot, which I don't think we do, no, we don't. That's being used to. Uh, yeah, sure, you can use this. We'll even let her use uh, some of our gear, too. She's not going to keep it, so... Alright. Alright, uh, that should be it. Uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we will work on her in the next episode. Uh, already reached a limit. So uh, we'll get started with that. Uh, but let me know uh, what you think. Uh, we're, at this point, we're just kind of getting involved in uh, experiments, things we've wanted to do. Uh, at this point, we don't have anything to fear. So I believe the uh, world is our oyster, uh, in a sense. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. If you've got any ideas uh, for the Thai Yi sect, I am all ears. I'd love to hear from you. 
uh, and then implement perhaps uh, your ideas in the sect. Either way though, until next time, peace.